and it started. Okay. So hey guys and girls, and welcome to my tutorial on spider freeze. Um, in other areas, it may be called something else. Let me know, but you know, just don't flame me too much if it's called something else. Like uh, say, you know, if you want to just call it the abstract freeze. I've heard that too, but. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I will be calling it the spider freeze tutorial. Now, the common myths before you start are, um, actually before I even talk, go on my rant, I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, so it's going to look something along the lines of this. And then you're probably wondering, ew, that looks pretty funky, but you know, ugh, you could hop with it, you could you'd like transition out of it and go into cricket, all that fun stuff. So uh, a common myth to the spider freeze is that you need to be flexible enough to put your leg behind your head which obviously I can't do and I'm not a flexible guy but I just I, I'm able to execute the spider freeze because I know where to put my legs and arms so that compensates for not being as flexible as uh, say b-boy sick or uh, b-boy rubber legs and uh, yeah so like I said uh, in many other tutorials, you don't, there's not necessarily a pre adequate for this move. Um, other than you may need uh, a little bit more strength than usual. Um, and because you're going to be in this awkward position, it's going to be important for you to uh, commit to the move and not, not like uh, be a little bit scared of losing balance and keep on leaning back because when you first attempt to get in this position, you're gonna be you're gonna be worried that you're gonna fall too far forward. And you're gonna lean back a little bit, and you'll constantly do this. Um, the main goal of this move to uh, get it right is to try to get your arms as far out as possible, like this, so your legs could rest on top. Um, it's especially important for people that aren't as flexible to. Uh, get their le uh, their arms really uh, really like this, so their legs could uh, get up higher rather than having just super flexible legs, and you could basically just do it like this. So, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you the spider freeze facing this way, not because I want to show off my big butt, but because I think it's easier to teach this way. I know I've said this millions of times. I know you guys and girls are getting tired of it, but there's new people watching, so uh, you know, gotta. Show some love. Anyway, uh, when I first started learning, I would put my, uh, it doesn't really matter which hand you start with because, you know, you're on both arms, but I start with my most, uh, do my dominant arm for freezes, and I just stick it under like this. Now, it's important when you uh, stick this arm under that you're getting on top of your bicep. So you, you really get in there, and then, you know, you bring your other leg, and then you're easily able to just slip that in there. Rather than, you know, once you get comfortable, you're going to be able to do, start from here and just do this. But when you first want to learn, all you want to do is get in this position, slide this leg through, or slide this arm through, not this leg. Um, get this uh, leg up, slide this arm through, and then easily, easily lean back, lift your legs up, and you're in the position. Ugh. Um, let's see, other than that, uh, what, what common problems might there be? Um, like I said, like I said before, repetition is key in my tutorials because it emphasizes why I want to, for you guys and girls to learn, but uh, uh, if you don't commit to the move and you get scared, you will fall back. So make sure uh, you lean forward and you're not, you're not like, denying the spider freeze. You're not leaning back, but you're leaning forward. And then you just get up like this. Uh, so if you follow the directions along the lines of just putting your arm through and then putting the other arm through, I'm sure you'll do fine. If you feel like uh, your arms can't support your body yet and your, or your wrist just extremely hurt, it's probably because you're, uh, you're, you're slightly new to b-boying and your wrist strength hasn't developed. To fix that, uh, I tell all my viewers and supporters to just break dance in general. You know, you want to learn your 
uh, chair freeze. It's a good exercise to learn to develop wrist strength. And um, yeah, so that basically sums up my tutorial. Uh, thank you guys and girls for watching. And be sure to follow me on Facebook. No, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Tumblr. Because I am indeed a social networking horror. And yeah, so... Deuces!